Kenneth, this is Batman calling from Wayne Manor. James wanted me to send you this shout out. So this is just for you, Kenneth. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. And remember, Kenneth, it's not who you are underneath. It's what you do that defines you. <laughs> okay, now this is Kevin. You know, the great thing about doing this role for so long, 28 years, has been this interaction I get to have with the fans. Because the Batman fans are amazing. They're so passionate about the character. They're so loyal to him. And I think it's because of all the superheroes, he's the only one who doesn't have any superpowers. He's a man. He can't fly. He can't see through walls. He only has his body and his mind to serve him on his mission. He's more of a detective. They call him the great detective. And his mission is to serve the community, to heal the world, to rid it of evil. It's such a noble cause. That's what people love about him, the nobility of his cause. They also love his tenacity, the fact that he never, ever, ever gives up. It's like he can't give up. And those are qualities we can all aspire to because he's human. He doesn't have any superpowers he's relying on. He only has his physical strength in his mind, his intellect. And if he can do it, we can do it. <laughs> of course, he's a cartoon character. <laughs> but those are noble goals. They're aspirational. That's what people love about him. We can all give to our communities. We can all look out for our family and our friends and our neighbors. We can all be tenacious in life and do the right thing. Those are wonderful goals. And it's more important now than ever to do that stuff. We're living through this horrible period right now. The lockdown and the virus, people have lost their jobs, their careers, their savings, their, their health, their lives. Some families have lost everything. I mean, it's, it's devastating what people are living through. So it's more important now than ever to reach out to our friends and our family and reconnect with people. I know we have to be socially distant to be safe, and I'm all into that, but that doesn't mean socially unconnected. There are other ways of connecting. Email, text, phone call, whatever. But it's that Batman ethic, that aspirational ethic that is so important because we need each other. Life is rough. It's a rough road. This year it's the virus, next year it'll be something else. It throws these curveballs at you. And it's, it's just a hard road for everybody. It's a wonderful road. It's a wonderful journey we're on, but it's a difficult journey. Everyone gets beat up by life. Everyone has disappointments in life. I don't care how rich and powerful and glorious and glowing and successful someone looks. They've had disappointments. They've had failures. They have stumbled. They don't brag about it, but they have. It's part of being a human being. I have had so many failures in my life. I have had so many challenges. I know your brother told me that your goal, your passion is writing. That's a wonderful goal to have, but incredibly difficult to achieve in terms of financial success. I mean, people who are hugely successful at writing have trouble making money. And I know you have to do some survival work along the way. I'd hate to tell you some of the survival jobs I've done. I have done some dirty jobs other than waiting tables and working in kitchens. And oh my God, at one point I was a mail boy for a mail service and the mail room was underneath Grand Central. You know, I grew up around New York, I'm a New Yorker. It was like a cave under there. And I'd come out in the middle of the day with my mail cart to go around to the various offices in Midtown. It was like, I felt like a troll coming out from under a rock. <laughs> oh, the light's so bright. But I was all doing it for a goal. I needed to save money for Juilliard. Um, I needed to support my acting habit. It's what we do especially if you have a creative spirit like you do, creative soul. You have to answer that soul. You have to. In order to live, you have to. Unfortunately, it doesn't always mean you're gonna make money doing it. So unfortunately, people have to do these survival jobs for periods of time. But it's really important to continue to feed that soul. And just remember, 
I mean, I think it was T.S. Eliot who was a clerk or something. Amazingly successful people have done survival jobs. Um, it comes with the territory. But you have to feed your creative soul. As a writer, I know every day you have to write. You know, writing is a lot like acting. It's a lot like acting. In acting, you're getting in touch with your inner core, who you are, your emotions, and you want to expose that soul. The better an actor you are, the more exposed you are to the audience. And they can't take their eyes off you. If you're being honest, they can't take their eyes off you. If you're lying, if you're acting, quote unquote, then they get bored by you. But if you're being sincere and open and honest and allowing them to see your soul and your heart, and the way you do it is by living it, well, writing's the same thing. When you really write from your heart, you're re-experiencing something from your life, if it's autobiographical. But even if you're doing something um, fictional or narrative, you use your own emotional experience and you transfer it to the other characters. But it's still you are the source of the material. So acting and writing are very similar. And I know that you have to let that out. And just know that survival jobs come with the territory. Everyone does it. Everyone's done it. Life is rough. But you are lucky because you have a brother like James who gets you, who sees you, and appreciates you. Not everyone has that. Not everyone has that, believe me. I was very much alone on my road. My siblings didn't see me at all. They didn't get it, what I was doing. So hold on to James, that's priceless. And keep writing. And do the other stuff to make money. <laughs> so good luck, Kenneth. Remember, Batman has always got your back. Take care.